an incredible night celebrating the biggest names in music. That's right. The MTV Video Music Awards are always filled with spectacular performances, and this year, of course, did not disappoint. KCAT Line Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now with all the highlights and a major announcement, too, Suzanne. Oh, yes. I'm going to make you wait until the end. Okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody has to stay with us. Yeah. <laughs> Suzy and Amy, when it comes to award shows, the VMAs are like attending a dozen concerts in one night. So much fun. And I've selected some of the biggest moments of the night from Jack Harlow to Bad Bunny, Lizzo, and yes, that major announcement. To kick off the 2022 MTV VMAs, it was a throwback to 2006. Fergie kicked off the show with her hit Glamorous, sampled by rapper Jack Harlow. His song First Class won the award for Song of the Summer. Thank you to Fergie for coming out with me tonight and clearing this song. How am I supposed to love somebody the night was packed with incredible performances from Video Vanguard Award winner and host Nicki Minaj to Lizzo, who won the video for good and clapped back at the haters. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing. They'd be like, Lizzo, why don't you clap back? Why don't you clap back? Because I'm winning. Artist of the Year winner Bad Bunny performed at Yankee Stadium and made history as the first Latin performer to win Artist of the Year. He gave his acceptance speech completely in Spanish, saying he didn't have to change who he was to fit into the industry. After the verdict in his defamation trial, Johnny Depp appeared several times as MTV's iconic moon man saying he needs the work. I just want you guys to know that I'm available for birthdays, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, weddings, wakes, any old thing you need. Taylor Swift won video of the year for All Too Well, the short film, and broke the internet with some news. I thought it might be a fun moment to tell you <laughs> that... that my brand new album comes out October 21st. Harry Styles won Album of the Year and accepted the award remotely. Um, I know this is a fan-voted award. I would like to say thank you to all of my fans who voted. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I obviously wouldn't be holding this if it wasn't for you. Um, all right, let's go back to Taylor Swift. She won the top prize, Video of the Year. And it's 13 years after the Kanye West incident when he interrupted her speech. And 13 is her lucky number. It's in her Twitter handle. Her new album will have 13 tracks, of course. Taylor says they are 13 stories of 13 sleepless nights. And who says 13 isn't lucky? It's really paid off for Taylor. All right. Much more on the lot. It's Hollywood in a half hour. We stream tonight at 7 p.m. Just go to kcal9.com or watch Channel 405, like the freeway on Pluto TV. New episodes drop Friday nights at 7. Susie and Amy, it was hard to pick favorite, but I love Nicki Minaj the most Ooh. because it was such a fun, they had every song from her career, at least the highlights. So. Such a spectacular night. It always is. It really is. You know, it it's was. always such a good show. Yeah, and they, they had more on. viewers this year yeah, than okay. last, which, you know, so many award shows, sure. the viewership's going down, so sure. hats off to them. Yeah, yeah Taylor Swift has not <laughs> lost a single fan, no, it seems. I, I mean, her, she's Just Seems I know. To to more. And she hasn't yeah. had to change herself. She's no. been the same. Yep. You got to love the, the Swifties, too. That's yeah. right. Great the fans. Got to pay, <laughs> pay them the respect <laughs> yes, for winning absolutely. those awards for. Suzanne, thank you <laughs> Thanks, so <guys>. much. <laughs>